Eve Kristoff, your Love Life Coach. This is the Eve's Eden Show. And I'm here today to encourage you to invite love that really, really resonates with who you are and being yourself all the way. So the question is, can you, can you be yourself with this person that you're so attracted to? And if not, is it really the right match for you? I have a funny story to tell you. I was once with a very wealthy, um, very talented contractor who uh, loved me very much, but um, was also scared of my, my wild femininity. <laughs> and so over time with him, I ended up, um, gosh, I ended up cutting my hair and dressing like his mother and wearing all the clothes he picked out and I lost, I kept losing my own sense of even what I wanted to do in a day and my own freedom and empowerment as I tried to please him and fit into his life and after a while I was like why am I doing this? I don't even value uh, a fancy house as, as a reason I would be with somebody. Why, why am I doing this? Well, because I loved him. That was one reason. Uh, but it wasn't enough to lose myself to love him. And I remember one night he wanted to go to a fancy dinner where he was meeting a lot of uh, clients and um, he wanted me to dress a certain way and I came down the stairs dressed like I am today in my wild gypsy attire maybe um, perhaps a touch scruffy <laughs> beautiful gypsy but scruffy gypsy like today <laughs> and he was like you're not coming with me you can't come and I said why not let's just just let me be me and let's just see if everything if the chips still fall into place I mean, you're a strong contractor it's not like uh, I tank your talent by being wild and free. Maybe it would help your your reputation that you can be so strong that you have a wild gypsy with you. <laughs> no, no, he said, you must dress like my mother, basically. His mother. So I broke. Basically, it had been too long for too many uh, years, and I just ended up throwing all those $500 shirts down the stairs. I, I just couldn't do it one more second. I was like, I got out the little box of the wild gypsy lace, put it back on, and said, this is where I stand. I have to be myself. And that was, he says, well, I'm going to dinner without you. And I packed up my stuff and left. Um, and he was brokenhearted for two years. He, he couldn't get over it. Well, so it's a sad story, isn't it? It's really sad. Basically, of course, you want to dress in a way that helps your, your lover when you're getting a job interview or uh, to, to, you know, if I wanted to be, I should have, I should have wanted to be understandable to his clients, right? And yes, except for the fact that it had gone on for two years every day. So you can change and do things to accommodate your beloved at, at the appropriate times, a wedding or whatever, uh, but if your whole life is, has become a, a charade to uh, match an image, this is not loving you, this is not even loving them, this is a waste of your, of your wild free spirit or, or your very straight spirit, whatever it is, you need to be you. You need to be you every day. And the ways in which that you, you change and adjust for your lover, um, those are, are beautiful ways to grow and expand into new realms of being. Uh, as long as the main, the, the main reality is that you are really celebrated as you, and you're celebrating yourself, and you're celebrating your beloved as who they are, without asking them to be somebody different. Okay, much love. I encourage you, you today to really be yourself. All right, love. I'm your Love Life Coach. Subscribe to this channel here on YouTube and connect with me at my email for any questions you have to ask or coaching you and your partner might like. Much love.